Hey, Nino, how are you? Hi, Marcos. It's so good to see you again. It's been a while. It has been a while. It's great to see your smile. And you've been so busy. Uh, you're, you've been on the road. And, but let's first talk about your Mucaro for Puerto Rico. Oh, oh sure. Well, so it all kind of, like, we have to go back a little bit more. I've been doing some art installations, big art installations, interactive, uh, for people to enjoy and people to have fun with them. And my latest, the last one that I made uh, for in 2017 for Burning Man, uh, Mucaro, uh, was very successful. Mucaro is the, it's the native owl that lives in Puerto Rico. It was 2017, and when we got back from the event, that's when the hurricanes happened in Puerto Rico. Yes. Uh, and as you know, I'm from there. And uh, I just had to like figure out a way to get creative. How can I help? And I came up with the idea to create a different uh, new version of Mucaro. This one will be a permanent art installation uh, in the town of Loiza. And we will be teaching, after the project is done, we'll be teaching uh, sustainable energy options to the people in Puerto Rico. And so what's really cool about this is it was helped by the Ricky Martin Foundation who helped put yes. this on for Puerto Rico. When I went in 2017 to help uh, the people in the island Puerto Rico, yes. one of the people that I connected with was the Ricky Martin Foundation. Uh, and they helped me find this location in the town of Loiza, um, where it's going to be. It's actually right behind the Ricky Martin Foundation. It's called uh, La Cueva Maria de la Cruz. Okay. Uh, and it's a beautiful national park uh, with a beautiful cave. And what we're trying to do is to attract uh, tourists and people, mm -hmm. in, in people in the island to come through the town of Loiza and help in the same way help the economy of the town. And you know, you are so talented. I mean, the detail uh -huh. of your work, I'm not kidding. The detail of your work is incredible. And so that leads me to your other job, which is <laughs> art director. Speaking of Ricky Martin, you are the art director for his world tour. So I'm, I'm very, uh, very fortunate to have met Ricky many years ago, actually General Hospital days. We're wow. both from Puerto Rico. Yeah. Yes, when he was Miguel in <laughs> General Hospital. <laughs> and um, and uh, one thing, you know, you know, our lives went separate ways for many years. And then we got reunited um, when uh, the All In a residency project was happening for Las Vegas. They were looking for help in the art department, and I was fortunate enough to start like helping them here and there, just little small projects. Um, it, and they say, "Hey, Nino, do you think that you can do this?" And I said, "Yes, I can." Of course. And do you think yeah, you can do that? <laughs> yeah, of course. And yeah. you know, some of them, I, I'll be honest with you, some of them, I was like, "Oh," <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out, and I sure oh, did. And then once the residence started. I requested or I asked the uh, tour manager and say, hey, do you have anybody that is going to take care of the props that I just made, everything that I fabricated? And the answer was no. And I was like, well, <laughs> I'm available. Yeah, Why I'm not? Available. And they connected with me last December asking me if I was available for the world tour, which is the Movimiento tour. And they were going to bring few of the same uh, props that I already have made and new ones. We were actually in, exactly in the middle of the tour, or I mean, the South America tour, yeah. when he got postponed. How was it being with him on tour now that he's out? Oh, I mean, he's got all the kids, everything. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I mean, it, uh, I, I, my Ricky Martin, uh, my Ricky Martin family is so dear to me. Um, I adored all of them. We have such a good time working. It's a lot of work, uh, especially when we have to go from one country to another. We, we are very tight. We are very tight and we take care of each other very well and, and, and yeah. love each other very much. And we respect each other like a family. And, uh, and because we're going to be together for a very long time. 
Just like right now in the isolation, so can you imagine being on the road with the same people every day? <laughs> every day, every day. I get it. You have to have that that bond. You have to. So what are the plans now? You're just kind of waiting. You're going to wait and see like everybody else. When everything lifts, then back on the road and, and back on tour. Yes. Uh, we had, a, you know, we already had plans for Europe. We have plans for uh, USA. Uh, so now it's like you said, uh, we'll see. So I'm sure you've been watching Baker and the Beauty, which is filmed in Puerto Rico. And I think you were there with Ricky on tour while they were filming, right? Yes. So it happened that um, we were moved, you know, we basically moved to Puerto Rico for almost a month before we opened the tour, the world tour. And one of the things that happened, too, was that it overlapped with the time that they were re filming Big Care and the Beauty in the island. And my dear friend Lisa Vidal was, you know, I knew that she was there. So yeah, I met all the people from Big Care and the Beauty. I enjoyed ever, all of them. I was able to bring Lisa to see the concert. Uh, so that's actually how it kind of all overlapped and it was all magical. So the question is, okay, so you partied with the cast. Who parties the hardest? That's what I'm curious oh. about. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, in between Lisa and, and Dan. Carlos. Uh, Victor. Oh my, I think the list goes on and on. I think you could yes. just say they all partied hardy. Yes, Party. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and I can't help but think how we first met. Can you believe back in like 2001? I can't believe that was 19 years ago. It's back in the, like back when Rosalind, well, our, our mutual friend Rosalind Sanchez, she was doing Rush Hour 2 and I was working for Access Hollywood at the time and I was doing a segment on her and I met you and 19 years later, here we are. I know it's it's just definitely one of the uh, wonderful things. You know, Rosalind is my sister. I don't call, I don't say like she's like my sister because she's there's the like is gone. We've gone. You know, we we have a huge long friendship, uh, fellowship, and sisterhood, and. Um, and I feel uh, very blessed to to have her in my life and her family in my life. And and through her experiences, I've met people like you who have brought a lot of happiness and, and joy oh. into my life. And I'm very grateful for that. Uh, so yeah. what's next beyond Ricky's tour and Mucaro for Puerto Rico? What other creative things are you doing? What about for Burning Man? I know that was not happening this year, but what about next year? You always come up with something over the top exciting. I love looking at your photos that you post from Burning Man. I mean, phenomenal. Thank you, thank you. So the, the, the before Mucaro, I made Got Framed, um, and that was a very popular art installation, which was a golden frame yes. uh, that you can actually have, your you create your own masterpiece. If the message behind it is that you are a masterpiece. Yeah. So the idea is that to just go ahead and explore, have fun and enjoy like it's a playground. Mm -hmm. um, I, act, I did design. I designed a new one for this year's event. Uh, of course, now it's on hold and um, and we'll see if, you know, it, it, the, the, the beauty of all this is uh, it's, it's a journey. So as we are going through this journey, um, it, it, things change. Things evolve, they transition, they move, they they change. Mm -hmm. And if I'm 2021, I'm interested in bringing that particular installation, fine. If I actually inspire by creating something else that uh, I was inspired through this time of isolation or or you know like quarantine, then you know that that to me I, I personally feel that the way that I create these art installations is by the time where I'm at at the moment. So as far as the current times, I'm curious, how are you handling everything? I mean, I know all of your work was put on hold, but you as a person dealing with this quarantine, so many of us have different challenges. I have the kids, I think right before I went on with you, they were running around and I'm like, you guys get outside so I can talk to Nino. I mean, what are your challenges during this time? Of course, trying to find my voice in this, in this moment in time. Uh, how can I be of help and inspire? And a uh, few things that I've been using as a, a space for me to explore is like I created this isolation destinations where 
where people suggest, oh yeah, you have it? okay, I, me, you gotta see it on my Instagram. Okay. So I basically, it, I hashtag the isolation destinations. It's basically, I find a corner in my house and then I, I, I imagine that I went to the rainforest or I went to the spa or I went to, you know, like, so I have a few things cooking and I'm getting suggestions. People are actually, some of my closest friends are sending suggestions of the next destination isolation should be um, and having fun with that just to keep, you know, my mind creative. Always been a good person and so much fun to talk to Nino. Thank you. Uh, then, thank you, Marco. Thank you for what you're doing right now. This I really appreciate the fact that, you know, you're giving us an opportunity to express ourselves and talk to people and, and always remember that, you know, we're in this together and stay safe, stay home and be well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time right here on the couch.